inside the life of Abu Dhabi's richest families. Since it became known that oil flows freely in the United Arab Emirates, cities like Dubai, Abu Dhabi and Sharjah have become some of the fastest growing wealth markets in the world. Following this development, Abu Dhabi, the kingdom's capital city, has earned itself a trove of wealth that can rival many of the world's most powerful nations. To this effect, the city's ruling family controls wealth that amounts to over a trillion dollars. They are not the only rich family in Abu Dhabi. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the lives of Abu Dhabi's richest families. Let's get into it, shall we? Number 3. The Al Mukhairi Family $1.2 billion Among the numerous rich and powerful families of the Arab world, the Al Mukhairi family stands out for being as controversial as they are wealthy. But it's for all the right reasons. This wealthy Abu Dhabi family is made up primarily of Khalifa Buti bin Amaiya Al Mukhairi, his former royal wife, Amira, and their son. Before I start spilling the tea on this somewhat controversial family, let's take a look at the patriarch, who many credit with being the money maker in the family. Khalifa Buti bin Omayya Al Mahari. This self made billionaire is the founder and chairman of KBBO Group, an Abu Dhabi based group with investments in healthcare, money exchange, and retail. He also has ties to the Abu Dhabi National Oil Company, Travelex Group Limited, Infinite Investment, and is a large shareholder in NMC Health, the largest private healthcare provider in the UAE. With a net worth of about $1.2 billion, Khalifa bin Bouti Al Mahiri certainly is one of the most recognized UAE business leaders. But in the public eye, he is not as recognized as his wife. Amira bint Aidan bin Nayef Al Tawil Al Otaibi Al Mukhairi. The lady of the Al Mahiri family is a Saudi Arabian philanthropist and also former royalty. Before she tied the knot with her current husband, Amira was married to Al Walid bin Talal Al Saud, a billionaire prince of Saudi Arabia. At the age of 18, Amira met and fell in love with the prince. The pair married in 2008 and were divorced five years later. After a divorce from Prince Al Walid bin Talal Al Saud, Amira was immediately excluded from the royal Al Saud family. In more recent times, the former princess was named the fourth most powerful Arab woman on the annual CEO Middle East list in 2012. In that same year, she was bestowed the Woman Personality of the Year Award by the Middle East Excellence Award Institute. Amira al Mukhairi has made some pretty big achievements by herself. She was vice chairperson of the Al Walid bin Talal Foundation before she left, and after that, she has continued to run several charity foundations and women's empowerment initiatives. She also continues to advocate for women's civil rights and empowerment. Several years after she rose to the forefront of women's advocacy, Amira al Mukhairi is still considered one of the most influential women in the Arab world. And with her billionaire husband, she is certainly one of the richest too. In 2019, the al Mukhairi couple welcomed their first son, Zaid. And like the rest of Abu Dhabi, I honestly can't wait to see what he gets up to when he comes of age. Number 2. The Ali Family $5.7 billion Although the Ali family is not traditionally Emirati, they live in the city of Abu Dhabi and have spent most of their lives doing so. On top of that, most of the family's wealth was made on Emirati lands. The Ali family primarily includes the billionaire Indian Arab, his wife, and their three beautiful daughters. Yusuf Ali Musaliam Vitil Abdul Qadir. The head of the Ali household was born in the Thrissa district of Kerala in India. Not long after completing his studies, he left India for Abu Dhabi to stay with his uncle MK Abdullah, a man who is hugely responsible for Ali's success today. Young Ali left his hometown to join his uncle's small distribution business and went on to follow in his footsteps in business. And since then, well, you already have an idea how successful he's gotten. Ali started to make it big when he launched his first Lulu hypermarket in the 1990s. And today, his brainchild Lulu Group has grown into an international group with operations spread over three continents. The group's hypermarkets and supermarkets are currently rated as one of the major players in the Middle East retail sector. With more stores than you can count in every Arab state. Apart from the hypermarkets, supermarkets, and department stores, Ali also owns several shopping malls from which he makes no small fortune. That is why he is known as the Middle East Retail King and presides over $8 billion in revenue of the Lulu Group International. Over the years, the Retail King has amassed wealth that is estimated to be worth $5.7 billion, but he does not spend all that wealth alone. Shabira Yusuf Ali. As the wife of one of the richest men in the country, it's easy to conclude 
conclude that Shibira has her pick of all the finest luxuries money can afford. And you would be 100% right. One of the many luxuries Shibira enjoys is access to her husband's insane car collection, which includes cars like the Mercedes-Benz GLS, a Mercedes Maybach, a Rolls-Royce Cullinan, a Rolls-Royce Ghost, and many more luxurious cars. Shibira is the mother of Ali's three beautiful daughters, and even though two of them are married and raising their own households, the Ali family remains a very close-knit one. Shabina, the eldest daughter, got hitched to Shamshir Vialil, a doctor and businessman with a net worth of $1.4 billion. Just like her husband, Shabina is a healthcare businesswoman who does well for herself. She is the director of VPS Healthcare Ventures, a company back in India. It's safe to say, the Ali family is surrounded by wealth on all sides, and even the second daughter, Shafina, is not left out. She is married to Adib Ahmed, who runs Luli International Exchange and 2014 Holdings, the group's hospitality investments division. Due to her inclination towards the hospitality industry, Shafina is the CEO of Tablez Food Company, a company that steadily generates a revenue of about $70 million. Shifa Yusuf Ali, the youngest daughter of the Ali family, is also making good use of her family's talent for making money. She started and is the CEO of the Idea Credit Education Company, a company that combines both education and entertainment for families and kids. Currently, the Idea Credit Education Company nets an income of about $3 million at each turnover. Number one, the Royal Al Nayan family. $300 billion. If there is one thing we've learned about Arabs, it's that the richest families are usually the royal families. That being said, it's easy to see why it's impossible to discuss the richest families in Abu Dhabi without taking a look at the richest and most powerful family in the Emirati city, which just happens to be the ruling family. Away from Abu Dhabi, the Al Nayan family is said to control a family wealth bigger than any other in the world. Getting the precise magnitude of royal wealth is rather difficult because lines separating the family's personal wealth in the state's funds are blurred so often. The family's net worth, however, is currently estimated to be about $300 billion, while the state's funds account for roughly $1.2 trillion. All of that wealth owned by the state is still controlled by the family, so you might even wonder why there is a line in the first place. The upper echelons of the family are made up of a group of six brothers known as the Bani Fatima. They're all sons of UAE founder Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nayan and Fatima bint Mubarak Al Al Kitbi, his third and most prominent wife. Currently, the royal family is headed by the third president of the United Arab Emirates and the ruler of Abu Dhabi. His immediate family includes his wife, their nine children, 16 grandchildren, and more extended family than we can keep track of. It's a pretty big family, all right, but the huge family wealth is enough to go around several times over. None of the family members have it better than the patriarch MBZ himself, who's acquired enough wealth to double the whole family's net worth. Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan. Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan, or MBZ as he is often called, is the third son of Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nayan, who served as the first president of the United Arab Emirates and ruler of Abu Dhabi between 1966 and 2004. MBZ took up the ruling seat in May 2022 after his father and older half brother both passed away. After assuming the throne, Sheikh became the de facto ruler of Abu Dhabi and started controlling almost every aspect of the UAE's policymaking. The head of the Al Nayan family is entrusted with most of the day-to-day -day decision making as it concerns Abu Dhabi, making him the most powerful man there and definitely the richest. The New York Times once named MBZ the most powerful Arab ruler as well as one of the most powerful men on earth. He was also named one of the 100 most influential people of 2019 by Time magazine. This year, the UAE ruler was named the eighth most influential Muslim in the world by the Royal Islamic Strategic Studies Center. The Al Nayan family head, Sheikh Mohammed, Muhammad is the third son of his father, and since he was one of the closest in line for ruling power, MBZ was groomed for leadership from a young age. After he became Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi in 2004, MBZ was also appointed Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces the following year, and later that month he was promoted to the rank of General. Now, not only does he control the nation's military, but he also controls the wealth of his kingdom. Currently, MBZ heads the Abu Dhabi Council for Economic Development and is the Deputy chairman of the Abu Dhabi Investment Authority. In addition to his long list of accolades, the Arab ruler is the chairman of the Mubadala Development Company, the Emirati state-owned holding company that can be described as a sovereign wealth
wealth fund of Abu Dhabi. Other than controlling all that money, which, as I've stated earlier, is a lot. MBZ is also in charge of the city's oil. Sheikh Mohammed is chairman of the Supreme Petroleum Council that presides over Abu Dhabi National Oil Company, the primary governing body of Abu Dhabi's fossil fuel resources. Looking at all the resources and streams of income that the Sheikh has had a hand in, it's only natural that his net worth is reportedly estimated to be around a staggering $30 billion. As if that's not enough, MBZ also has some control of the collective wealth of the whole family, which is worth $270 billion. With such wealth at the Al Nayan family's disposal, the luxury of their everyday lives is something that the average wealthy family can only dream of. The Al Nayan head, along with his family, lives in a large palace complex in the city known as Casa Al Watan. The palace is situated close to Al Batin Palace and it spans 150 hectares. That includes both the palace and gardens. A whopping $430 to $500 million was spent building the palace, and reports also suggest that the palace took around seven years to build. I'm pretty sure that the palace has broken a record or two, but that's not the only thing that the Emirati ruler spends his money on. The Sheikh reportedly owns a collection of expensive and rare automobiles that includes several Bugatti Veyrons, a Ferrari 599X, a Ferrari F40, a Mercedes CLK GTR, a Lamborghini Reventon, and many other cars. MBZ's insane car collection's estimated worth is in the millions, and his private jets cost even more. The majority of the transportation needs of the Al Nayan family is handled by Abu Dhabi Amiri Flight. They have six aircraft in their fleet, which are the A6 UAE, which is a Boeing 747, the A6 AUH, a Boeing 737, and the A6 YAS. These crafts are considered to be the presidential aircrafts, and are meant for the comforts of the Sheikh and the rest of the Al Nayan family. Even when traveling on the seas, the Al Nayan family head goes for every bit of luxury and he has a lot of options to choose from. The Al Nayan family members own numerous luxury yachts like Yacht Yas, the Topaz Yacht, and the Yacht Moonlight 2. Even if the Sheikh does not feel like sharing boats, he himself owns a huge luxury yacht named Rabdan. Rabdan has an estimated cost of around $60 million and is kept running each year with about $5 million. There is also Azam, the world's longest yacht, which was built for the late Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayan, Muhammad's older brother and previous Emir of Abu Dhabi. Since Sheikh Khalifa passed away in 2022, we can assume the yacht is now owned by the current ruler and president of the UAE. As you would expect, the billionaire family does not only spend their money on luxurious means of transportation. According to reports from The Guardian, some papers show a glimpse of the properties owned by the royal family, which are worth about five and a half billion pounds in the London Analysis of Land Registry data. The private property portfolio includes about 170 properties ranging from a secluded mansion near Richmond Park to multiple high-end locations in London. There's also Ascot Place, an 18th century mansion near Windsor Great Park outside of London. Whatever the Sheikh might be enjoying right now, he does so with his wife, Salama bint Hamdan Al Nayan, the First Lady of the United Arab Emirates. They have been married since 1981 and they tied the knot back then in what was widely considered to be the most expensive royal wedding ever. The royal couple signed their names into the Guinness Book of World Records, as well as the marriage registry too, during the wedding ceremony at a 20,000 seat stadium that was built especially for the week-long wedding celebrations, which cost an estimated $100 million. It seems that all the Al Nayan family does is spend their massive wealth extravagantly, but just as much money comes back to fill their pockets in the end. The rest of the family fortune. The Al Nayans can control a vast empire, the likes of which have never been seen before. And they do that using the Royal Group. The group acts as a command center for its chairman, Sheikh Tanun bin Zayed Al Nayan, Muhammad's brother, and the rest of the family. They invest in an array of companies, like the International Holding Company, which is worth $150 billion, and work with Rihanna's Savage X Fenty, SpaceX, the Al Reem Island, and more. They also have under their portfolio the $8 billion First Abu Dhabi Bank. Etihad Stadium, Berkeley Square in Mayfair, $900 million in public equities, as well as $136 billion in cash and other investments. Needless to say, the royal family of Abu Dhabi is by far the richest, and they certainly have no problems splurging on whatever their sights are on.